Hey, thanks for tuning in to Review Channel. Today we're talking about how to install a garbage disposal. But before you install the garbage disposal itself, you have to install this part here, which goes into the drain of your sink. So this is an insincorator brand. You have the actual part that goes into the sink, and this goes right in here. You'll see here, you use some plumber's putty to install that, which I have right here. And this goes all underneath how to mount it, tightens it up. This is the bracket, and this is the little gasket that's underneath. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's get to the video. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is I like to use two chairs or two pieces of something to hold uh, the sink up. If you're installing a new sink, this is the easiest way to do it. If it's already installed, unfortunately, you have to do it under the sink. So a little bit more complicated, a little more difficult. Uh, but if you don't have it installed yet, it's easy like this. The way you can work within this place here, set your, your sink piece in here, and then you can put all your attachments underneath here. Real easy to do for me underneath. You can just, you know, everything hooked up and then we'll turn the sink around and we'll hook up everything. So the first thing you need to do is actually start out with, with some plumber's putty. So yes, you do need some plumber's putty. Plumber's putty. And what you want to do is just take some plumber's putty here and you put it in your hand. Get a nice ball and you want to just rub it together. What you're trying to do is just make, a, make like a nice skinny little line of uh, plumber's putty. You want to wrap it all around here. Let's just get that going. Use your hands to heat from your hands. Make like a long string, and just keep, just keep wrapping it around your hands, just like that. And you want to be generous. You just want to put it right around the ring, just like you see here. And don't be afraid. And as much as you need, because this is the most important part right here. When you're putting these seals in, these rings, this will seal the bottom of the sink, so no water will get in. And that is super duper important. Keep this straight. I'm just gonna push it down to the sink here. And then it's gonna just fit inside here. And keep compressing it because this is. Here we go, so you can see. And just keep compressing this down until it fits inside. And then you'll get the excess ring on the back side, and that's how you just compress this ring and it gets nice and tight. So we flipped it over. Now you can see the back side. So we're gonna put this, uh, like a, it's like a cardboard ring that helps support the bottom and also give it some sealing pressure, I believe, up behind the gasket. This is a pressure plate that pushes pressure uh, behind that gasket and pulls this thing towards it. You can see that. So this is gonna be set here first and then we're gonna put a ring around it. And it's like a, a little C ring. Uh, and you just uh, attach that real quick. You just have to just move it around it and fiddle with it, and then it gets on pretty easy. When you're working with it like this, under the sink's a little bit harder, but this way here, it's pretty simple. Just open that ring up with two hands. I had to put the camera down, so use two hands, open it up, pop that right onto that ring, and that sets it in place and keeps it nice and tight like you can see here. So the next thing you want to do is just basically take a drill or a screwdriver and just pull it up, and you're basically just pulling that bottom piece towards you, and it's compressing the... Uh, plumber's putty and makes the perfect seal and this is what they do this is really really simple and then the garbage disposal pretty much attaches right to that bottom ring and that's pretty much how that works uh, so if you have any questions or any comments leave down below hope i'll be able to help you add some value to your day and let's finish up this project appreciate your time as always so now you can see here how all the excess came off and that made a super tight seal so i always use a little extra don't be afraid and just wipe the excess off and you are good to go and that is pretty much how you do it. Any questions or any comments, leave down below. I'm glad to answer any questions you have. Put the extra putty, save that, and you are good to go. Okay, guys, I appreciate it as always. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Any questions or any comments, leave down below. Also, I'll leave a, a, um, a link down below so you can see how to do. I have an unboxing of this exact sink here, which is kind of cool. And also, all my other videos are online as well. So I appreciate it as always. Hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified when the next video is ready for you to take a look at. I appreciate it, and I'll see you at the next review.